Okay, so <clears throat> I have my two inches, my five inches piece of leather, and I'm placing it directly on here so that I can fold it up, pinch, and sew. So it looks, if you place the epoxy glue all the way up to this point, it will hold. It looks something like that. So in order to apply this epoxy glue, and it's a 15 minute drying epoxy glue, I have to make this process quick. So I have some twine placed in the needle so that as soon as I place the epoxy onto the leather, I'm gonna start sewing. Cardboard and the epoxy glue. I'm simply going to mix this together as much as you can. Get the two compounds combined properly so that they bind and harden. It is mixed. Take the leather, place it on equally, and put it on your leather. You don't want to place too much all in one spot so that when you tighten the leather, together to sew, it, the glue doesn't come out and smear everywhere. Make sure you get the edges. The reason why I'm not gluing this side and this side is so that as I'm sewing, I don't want the leather to bind while I'm sewing where I need to sew. Place onto the leather very carefully. Pull up both sides and we are going to pinch it. Now at this point the sewing must begin. If there is any excess glue that has come out, I would advise wiping it off so that it doesn't glue and stick on the outside of the leather so it doesn't leave a negative mark. Square knot, double square knot, right over left, left over right. Just like so. And there you have it. Now, simply going to clean this up, just like so. And there you have it. There is the leather part of the sheath. Finally, we have the leather placed onto the plastic sheath. The next part is we are going to cut off a portion of this little plastic piece right here. I'm going to also cut off plastic right here and right here. You can use the scissors for this if, if the scissors is thick enough. There you go. I'm going to cut off this segment and this segment right here and then round it off to look something like this. Okay, so we have this finally cut, and I'm going to be cleaning the edges so that it's not sharp around the corners here. And afterwards, I'm going to be rounding the edge like so. Right now, I'm going to be drilling a hole. You can honestly use a um, you can honestly use a knife, but if you want to make it really clean, you can use a drill. Used a 9/16 drill bit on this. Clean hole. I'm going to my sanding machine and I'll show you how to round the edges if you have a sanding machine. If you don't have a sanding machine, you can simply use a knife or scissors, some sandpaper. Uh, this will make the process go a little bit faster. Here we go. Great. 
And so now we have the sheath wrapped in leather. We have placed a little carrying lanyard hole where we're going to be placing the leather lanyard. Now, what we're going to need next is a piece of deer antler. In this situation, I'm going to be using deer antler. You can use wood, you can use any other material, but I found that deer antler looks very aesthetically pleasing and you can drill into it fairly, fairly easily. As you can see on the inside of the deer antler, this is the, uh, this is the core. The core of the deer antler, it's a lot softer than the outside of the deer antler. Now what that does for us is that it enables us to drill a lot easier into the core. Um, so that we can make the bead. The beads are going to be around an inch long and uh, you don't need a super thick. You can take whatever size deer antler you want but for this situation I like deer antlers to be about the width of your finger. I like to cut the beads alongst each other so that when you match them up they're from the same piece and they match up. Also what we're going to be needing is some kind of leather cord. You can use twine if you want. I found leather to be very, um, it's durable, it's rustic, it's fairly primitive. And I've measured, so around 40 to 41 inches is how long you want your, if not more, if how long you want your uh, leather neck lanyard to be. And you can always cut it shorter. All right, and there you have it, two deer antler pieces. Now we're gonna be taking the two pieces of deer antler that we have cut. I'm using a 7 30 seconds drill bit for some leather, uh, leather cordage like this. The purpose of the beads is to be able to cinch up the knife when we need it to be cinched up, and if it's too big, the weight of the knife is just going to pull the beads back down, but if you do it slightly snug to where it's not too tight and you don't have to pull super hard, but if it's just perfect, um, that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to be using a 730 seconds on this. And there you have it. Two holes, 730 seconds drill bit. Now we're just going to be cleaning up the edges make them a little bit softer around the edges so they're not sharp, make them clean, but I'm not going to be touching the outside. This is pretty. Just the, the raw aspect from the deer antler, just the edges. I want to let you know that if you do not have a belt sander of your own, you don't need to use a belt sander. You can simply take a piece of sandpaper and imagine my hand is the sandpaper and simply rub the coarse edges along the sandpaper and polish down the sides. In order to install these onto the lanyard, first of all, we need to take the lanyard and place it onto the leather wrapped sheath. So, you go from behind, you place a loop through, make sure it is halfway take the two loose ends and you feed it through the loop that you've made it. And you pull, and that's it. And that is what that looks like. Second step, this is what it looked like cut from the deer antler side by side. Now take these, and we're going to be fitting these onto the leather lanyard. Now it can be a bit snug placing this in, so if you grab both pieces of the leather, and twist, you can eventually make it through. As you can see, there's a little leather coming out. You simply take some pliers and you can pull it through. Now you have one piece through. You just keep on spinning both pieces. Soon enough, you'll get that second piece through. You pull them you bring it all the way down to the bottom of the sheath. 
like so. Now the second step is to take the second bead. Make sure that the second bead lines up with the first one. So we're going to be putting it, on, putting it on like so. Just like so. Here. So we're going to want to have the knots. Now that we've placed the beads onto the lanyard, next step is to take this knot and just clean it up. We're simply going to take each strand and pull it. If you don't have any pliers, you can just use your fingers. There you have the lanyard installed onto the sheath. Last couple steps we're going to be doing is taking the lanyard, cutting off the ends, just like so. We're going to be taking our wax-based conditioning, leather conditioning product, and we're going to be placing it on the sheath. The finished product of the knife and the sheath, the leather wrapping and the waxing, is going to look something like this. Wax the lanyard as well. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and join me on the next video for another project.